Hello learners, welcome to Cash Education and today we will see how to draw a hexagon circle infographic. This is a very simple kind of infographic, very elegant. You can highlight six points here, show a process, give a title in the center. So let's see how to draw it. Take a fresh new slide, click on insert, go to shapes and choose the hexagon. Hold down the shift key to draw the hexagon. Remove any shape fill. Right click on the hexagon, click on format shape, go to the outline and choose the color. So here I have chosen dark grey. Increase the width of the outline and now you will have to make rounded edges by choosing the round option in cap and join type of outline. So now you see you've got the rounded edged hexagon. You will rotate the hexagon and align it to the center of the slide. Click on insert under shapes select the circle. Hold down the shift key and draw the circle. Remove the shape outline and adjust the circle to the one of, one of the edge of the hexagon. Duplicate the same circle by pressing Ctrl D and begin adjusting the circles to the edges of the hexagon. Make sure the circles are aligned by using the guidelines and they are of the same size. So I have adjusted the circles for the four corners and now the remaining circles for the last two corners. The guidelines will really help you in aligning the circles on the hexagon so make sure you enable them under the view menu. So now your circles all six of them you will click on shape options go to shadow and to any one of the circle you will start applying the shadow effect. You will adjust the transparency, the size of the shadow. You are going to increase the blur a lot and maybe some slight adjustment in the distance. Now you see that your circle, first circle has got the desired shadow effect. You will click on format painter and select the next circle. Again click on format painter and select the next circle. This will help you in copying the same effect, the same shadow effect to all the circles. So you don't have to individually sit and add shadows to them. So now your shadow effect has been copied to all the circles. All you have to do now is change the color. So I am choosing the first and the last circle. I have chosen them and given them the blue color. Now I'll select the diagonal circles, give them dark green color and the remaining circles and give them the red color using my eyedropper tool. So now you see that my basic shape is ready. I'm going to select all the objects of the infographic, group them together by pressing Ctrl G. And then ungroup them. I have my font ready. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the positions of the circle the way I want them. You have to make sure that all your objects are aligned properly in the back or in the front. I have selected only the circles to slightly adjust their size. Now that the size is adjusted, I am happy with the small size of the circles. I am going to shift them back to the edges of the hexagon. 
so now the last circle is remaining i'm going to go to the ready made font slide that i have kept prepared already i'm going to select it copy it and paste it onto my infographic there could be slight adjustments that you want to make now i'll start adding my title into it now you see that the title has been oriented in the vertical direction so first i'll give the effects and change the text direction in the format text tools i'll give it the right font make sure the font is slightly loose and then increase the size so i have obtained the desired format for my title also so now you've got the infographic if you like this video give it a thumbs up like to subscribe to my channel see you again next time